Hello everyone, I am Patrick Jones, the creator of Doggy Dashboard. Thanks for uh, watching this video and here I'll have give you a quick video tour of how Doggy Dashboard works. So once you create an account and log in, this is the main screen that you'll see. Here in the top corner, we have our logo. If you don't have a logo uploaded for your business yet, simply go to the wrench, go down to update profile, and there you can upload your logo as well as change any business information such as your email, your business name, your address, your phone number. Uh, scrolling down here, you'll see there we have, it says click here for instructional videos. If you want to go to our video tutorial section, simply click there and that'll take you to all the videos that show you how to use all the different features of Doggy Dashboard. Scrolling down here to the bread and butter of the app, we have today's appointments for Wednesday, July 5th, 2017, and it's currently 11.54 a.m. here in the central time zone. And so if we click on scheduled appointments for today, there's going to be a drop down that shows you the appointments we have. Uh, Pat Roxy, owner Jane Smith, has a nails appointment, and it says nails and a quick brush out. And then here, Pat Goldie, owner Phyllis Miller, has a long term boarding appointment uh, that's ending today, and it says Goldie is staying for a couple days while Phyllis is on vacation. I'm going to close that right there. Here you have a pet finder as well as an owner finder. You simply start typing the pet's name, and then all the different pets pop up that have that letter in their name. So if you type in SP, spot will come up. You simply click enter and then click search and that'll bring you to spots profile. Same with owners over here. Underneath that, we have some cool features here. It's our vaccine expiration notifications. It looks like Cooper and Sage both have vaccines expiring within the next two months. If you click on either of their names there, it'll take you to their profiles so you can see which expiration, which vaccines are expiring. Underneath that, it shows us that Roxy has a birthday on July 29th if you want to send Roxy, uh, Roxy's owners uh, a birthday card for their dog. Underneath here, you'll see all the different types of features Doggy Dashboard has. You can add new pets, add new clients. Here you can view your pets, view your clients. Uh, we have appointment reminders, recurring appointments, financials, check-ins, passes. Uh, upload documents, send receipts, and here you can up update your business profile. Um, just to show you what it looks like, we'll click on View All Pets, and here you can see the pet database for your business. It'll show you their names, pictures if you have them, and then some more information. If you click on View Profile, it takes you to their complete profile, uh, where you have all their information as well as pet notes, aggression notes, documents, uh, check-ins. Here's the vaccines information. Uh, there's a lot of information you can save for each pet. We're going to jump back to the main homepage. Come down here. We'll look at the view all clients. Here's what the client's uh, window looks like, the client's database. Shows you clients, emails, uh, information. If you want to look at their complete information, just simply click on view profile. And here you can see more information on the client as well as financial entries for them, redeemable passes for them, as well as completed check-ins. We'll go back to the main screen here, scroll down. Here's where you create appointments. You simply select the appointment type, the pet owner. You can send confirmation emails and reminder emails. Uh, the start date, the end date, the start time, end time. Add a note, click schedule appointment, and instantly the appointment's going to pop up on your calendar right down below. And you can see today here in orange, July 5th, we have two appointments that pop up. And if we want to check on our appointments for, let's say, July 11th, we simply click the, the little link there and a pop up shows us that we have a nails appointment or a bath appointment, excuse me, for a spot uh, on July 11th at 8 a.m. And then if you scroll down even further, you get to your appointment request and contact page. Every business that uses Doggy Dashboard gets a customize appointment request page. If you click this blue button right here, it'll take you to your appointment request page. Uh, here, businesses, uh, you can link this on your business website, and this gives people an easy way to request appointments with your business, as well as contact you if your website uh, doesn't have a request page on it or an appointment request form on it. Uh, so it's just a simple way for people to get in touch with your business. And if you want to go back here. If you want to add that button to your website, you simply copy and paste this code right there and drop it into your website. And then you'll have this nice button that takes people directly to your business page. 
Uh, and down here at the very bottom, if you want to support Doggy Dashboard, simply copy and paste this code, and this little uh, badge will show up on your website to show people that you support Doggy Dashboard. And lastly, at the very top, you can see the main menus here under create. You can add a new pet, a new client, new employees. You can create single appointments, recurring appointments, and you can also do financial entries. If we go here, you can see the financial center for uh, our business. It shows you the 30 day, 90 day and year to date revenue expenses and profits. You can add financials right here. And if you click here, you can see all your financials for your business. And so, Back to here, that was financial entries. We move over to view. There's a pet database, the client database, employee database, check-ins, uh, check-ins to see what pets you have in your possession. If you click on services, these are the services right here that show up on your business's appointment request page, as well as on your uh, appointment uh, creation form. Lastly, uh, under the wrench, there's the home button. If you wanna make a donation to Doggy Dashboard and help out, uh, simply go there and make a donation. I use the money for the servers and for the occasional cold beer. Uh, down here, you can update your profile, add logos and things like that. Here's where you report a bug. If you find something that isn't working, you can request new features here. The Help Center has videos uh, to show you how to use all these features. And if you click Log Out, that takes you to the main page for Doggy Dashboard. Thanks for watching this video. And uh, if you guys ever have any questions, just shoot me an email, info at doggydashboard.com. Thanks a lot. Bye.